Hello, this is Joe Glines, and merging data files and SPSS is always a joy, and I say that with a lot of sarcasm. Um, the biggest hindrance I've run into is usually you have string variables that are actually your unique identifier in each data set, and they're not the same width. Of course, they could be not sorted in the correct order as well, but um, this first one, this macro, I'm going to cover real quickly the first topic of just changing the width of your string variable. Um, of course, you can go in and manually, you can actually just come in here and click it, Right, I don't recommend that. Um, also, if you're using syntax, you don't want to do that because you don't want to have to manually go back there every time. So what I've done is I have a short um, macro, which is in everything in between here and here is my macro. So this is the name of my macro, change width. It has two to um, it, it, it parses through two things. There's the variable, which is the, the variable I want to do, and the width. There's two parameters. And what I first do is I create a new variable setting it to the width, and this is I'm going to concatenate A plus whatever the width is, so in this case it would be 50, 65, 100, and then what I do is I compute the new variable to equal my old variable, and then I do a little trickiness um, with the match files rename and drop commands, where I rename the, old w the, the initial variable to old, I name the new variable to what the original one was, and then I drop old, which is what the first one was. And what this allows me to do is say, so in here, and you can see my string var, and there are two other variables, let's take a quick look at them, right, nothing major here. Um, I just wanted to give an example, so there's my string variable, it's 108 wide, but let's say I need it to be 50 wide, right? After I've defined my macro, and that means I have to run this once, um, and I run this command, so this is going to say, run the macro, change width, what variable do I want to run it on, my string var, and what width do I want to change it to? I want to change it to 50, right? So watch what happens up here when I run this. So I run it, and bam, now the one thing it does, the change, it does move it out of order because it creates a new one and resets it, and um, you can get really tricky and save all the variables locations and then go back and resave them. Um, I typically, when I'm merging files, I don't care about where they are um, in the initial part because I'm going to resort them later once I've merged them together. Um, but let's say you want it at 65, right, because I'm still saying, well, this is my string var, right, I can ch run this one command and change it to 65, right, or to 100 right, whatever I put in here, and what's nice is I can just have this handy and just call this command once I've defined the macro, um, which I do in my initial line, um, when I open up SPSS, so it's always in the background. It's it's a breeze for me to change the width of a string variable. Um, the other thing I could have done in this is I could have built into sort on it as well, sort like ascending, and that way, because I typically merge my data files, and when you do that, um, I have it sorted ascending on the um, unique identifier that joins the two, um, and this way, if I had built it in here, I wouldn't have to worry about it. But that's it. Thanks.